Motorway junctions have recognizable names that sometimes stick in the memory, and Godstone Junction 6 on the M25 is one not far from my abode. Sometimes a name conjures up a vision of how a place might look, and if you have travelled on the M25 past Junction 6 and wondered if Godstone would be worth a visit, this photo walk offers some guidance. The village is at the intersection of two main roads, the A25 and the A22. Most through traffic use the motorway, but Godstone still suffers from heavy local transport. Getting a decent image without cars or lorries becomes the challenge. Central to the village is a vast green, surrounded by houses displaying a diversity of architecture and large enough to accommodate a variety of recreational activities and a visiting fairground. Tucked away in the corner is a duck pond, which adds to the attraction of the area, albeit rather close to the car park. Photographically, here is sufficient material for a chocolate box approach, and there are a maze of hidden alleyways that add to the pleasing mix, but there are better things not very far away. Now, take the public footpath past the White Hart, and soon Bay Pond, a nature reserve, appears on the scene. In addition to the usual residents, there is private fishing, and this fisherman has a helper who is obviously a Liverpool supporter. From Bay Pond, Church Town is soon reached, a cluster of houses and a church that is picture perfect. Unfortunately, both church and almshouses were closed. The path skirts Lee Place, passes two ponds of which the second is the more photogenic, before reaching a main road. After a short stretch of road walking, our main objective, Tilbursto Hill, part of the green sand ridge that passes through Surrey, is accessed, and as height is gained, extensive views unfold. The view is like a sandwich, a meaty strip across the middle, flanked by acres of foreground and sky. Fortunately, the crop was close to harvesting, and I had a decent sky. Nevertheless, don't be tempted to use too much wide angle, as that makes matters worse. Less is more, and don't forget to extend depth of field with a small aperture if you wish to retain sharpness from front to back. The ensuing woodland walk under a sunlit sky produced an enormous dynamic range. The sun went briefly behind a cloud, so exposure for this shot was easier to handle, but I still spot metered a highlight. This was a decent place for my picnic, and as I laid down and thought of England, this view immediately above me grabbed my attention. Bletchingly, the next village along the A25 from Godstone was my objective before the bus back home. It had a castle, but you won't see much of that except the prospect it enjoyed over the Weald and into Sussex from the footpath now contouring the Mott. The village looks quite different to Godstone. There isn't a green, instead a high street almost as broad as it is long, giving the village its unique character. Before leaving, do take a look at the church, which dates from the 11th century, its Norman tower and battlements having an air of a castle. Surrey is not noted for outstanding church architecture. It is not in the same league as, say, Somerset or Norfolk, but St Mary's ranks with the very best that the county can offer.